All right, so for problem number five, for more circle problem, I feel like I've pretty recapped. I recapped it pretty well. Um, this is new material for you; it's fresh on your mind. Uh, so just a, a brief recap. You know, more circle. I'm going to give you this uh, element. So make sure you know what's positive and negative. Positive is positive is tension. If it's pointed out, then that's positive, right? If this was pointed in, it would be a negative. Uh, tau would be positive if it was if it was pointed up in that corner. Um, so this one was negative right here. Uh, same steps. Draw your starting point. Draw your center. Dr calculate the radius. Go radius left, right, up, down, um, and and go ahead and find. Even if it doesn't ask for, find the angle where that you're starting from. Find the angle that you're starting from. Okay, there are, I think, three things I could ask you. I might ask you all three. Maybe like this one, I'll kind of ask you two. I can ask you for the principal stresses and the principal orientation. Those are these. Those are what you have already calculated by going radius left and right. All right. Uh, the principal orientation, theta p, is uh, two times this angle to horizontal, two times the angle to horizontal. All right, uh, this theta p would actually be negative. Let me talk about this one. This would be negative. What is this? One six point, you know, something, eight, uh, something right here. Whatever half of thirty three point six seven is, uh, but it would be negative because here's where I started. I started right here. I needed to go clockwise to get to. The principal plane and a clockwise is a negative angle, so this would be theta p would technically be negative. Um, this right here. Um, so I can ask you the principal stresses and principal orientation. Also, what is tau here? Tau is zero when you have the principal stresses, and you knew that from your Mohr circle. You know what is the tau? Uh, you know at this point right here, zero. Okay. Then another thing I could ask you are. What are the stresses at some, you know, angle clockwise or counterclockwise? Well, you got to know where you started on Mohr circle, and remember, you go twice the angle because one degree in real life equals two degrees on Mohr circle. So I knew that I was starting at thirty-three point seven, so I went sixty degrees, so I ended at twenty-six point three three. Be able to go clockwise, counterclockwise, know where you're starting from, and then rotate two times that angle, and then you've got a new location, you know, and you're trying to find that new point. You know the angle you're at, and you know the radius you're at. If you know the angle and radius, you can find the height and base. The height is going to be your tau, all right? The height is going to be your tau. Remember, positive is down here on this side, and the base is going, you need to remember to, to go from the center <coughs> and and then your base, right? Your base is not going to be this value. This value is the center plus your base or the center minus your base. And then the y is going to be the opposite, the center you know, minus your base, if, if you did plus your base over here. Um, okay, and then another thing I can ask for is what is the maximum in-plane shear stress? That's the radius. Maximum in-plane shear stress is the radius, 9.615. Um, what are the nor sh sh what are the normal stress values at this point? You know it from more circle, but you also know it's just the average, so it would be eight. Um, and then also theta s um, is the angle to horizontal. This would be two theta s right here, uh, but it should be forty five degrees from theta p as well. Should be forty five degrees from theta p. So those are three things I can ask you. Be ready for uh, any. And all of those, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for your more circle. Okay, technically you could um, double check these answers with those stress transformation equations, uh, but you know I, I think this is I think this is easier than those stress transformation equations. I don't know what you think, um, but anyway, problem number five, more circle. I've got high hopes for y'all uh, for this problem because it's it's fresh on your minds. Um, you've been doing homework and um, in-class problems and watching the videos on more circle. I think you'll do good.